Scarlet Dutch from All Seeing Out Tarot. Here with the intuitive reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. Libra, before I hit record, I started singing, Am I Dreaming? I don't know what that shit means to you, but definitely listen to that song. Um, I don't know the original maker of the Am I Dreaming song, but I know Escape redid it or something like that. But um, listen to that song, Am I Dreaming? I don't know why I was singing that, but Libra, you should listen to that song, okay? Libra, sun, moon, rising for the month of May 2018. Spirit and universe, what are the messages you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising for the month of 2018. Show me. All right, this month, Libra, I just want to make a few announcements. This month, I'm doing special 50 for the month of May. The entire month, everybody qualifies for a special 50. If you're looking for a special 50 read, you want to book a couple of them uh, for the next three months. I mean, it's up to you. You hit me up at allseeingoutarot at gmail.com. Just let me know what you're doing, and we can come to an agreement. We'll work it out, okay? Um. If you would like more of an in-depth reading, because a lot of you know the Special 50 sometimes don't cover everybody's story. If you got four and five motherfuckers that you want read, it's Special 50 is not going to do it, okay? You need more of a, a fuller in-depth reading. Um, the $75 option, full reading, my original price is down there as well. So you just let me know I need a full reading. If you say full reading, I'm going to send you an invoice for $75. If you say Special 50, I'm going to send you an invoice for 50 bucks. okay? So be very clear. Let's see, Libra. All right, here we go. Okay, one, three, two. Here we go, Libra. People are driving their motorcycles. It's nice as shit outside, Linda. I'm ready to go party. Okay, Libra. Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Two of Wands. The King of Wands. All right, a lot of you Libras are dealing with some fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, definitely. And some of you are dealing with an Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Because that keeps popping up too. All right. Six of Pentacles. Some of you, I will talk about it later. Mm. Overall energy. I'm sorry. Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands is this last card. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. <coughs> okay, Libra. <clears throat> Okay, guys. Um, all right, so what do I see? Hmm. We have the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, some of you definitely are in, um, maybe you just recently got in a relationship, Libra, with an individual that you don't feel no love or affection for, but you're trying to use them for financial support. Okay? I'm going to keep it real. All right? And it's probably just Earth time because when I get down here, it's the same story. Okay? Um. Some of you Libras are connected to an earth sign that you don't have any emotional support with. This is really not the person for you. You probably don't get along when it comes to sex and, and love. Um, but however, this person maybe uh, shows you the ropes or helps you to make money in ways that you need it right now. Okay. And you um, don't mind using that person. It, it's kind of, you know what, look at my intuitive readings because this shit is in here for Libra. I said this already, all right? Um, It's kind of screwed up because you're with this individual and you're depriving them, okay? What do you mean to deprive? Listen, I don't like to get very graphic, but I can get graphic, okay? I'm not a dumb motherfucker. I can really get graphic with you, but I try to keep it professional. But maybe I shouldn't keep it professional. Maybe I should keep it all the way 100 like Bella do. Some of you Libras are linked up to uh, Earth sign, okay? Capricorn, I'm going to say Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It could be all of them. I'm going to say more than anything, it's going to be Capricorn or Taurus, okay? <clears throat> this person financially provides a home. You like it, okay? But there's something that you don't like about this individual, all right? It could be uh, the sense of this is not the person that you see as your overall wife, 
You're not attracted to them in that way. All right. They're good at making money, but they're terrible at being a mother. And Libra loves individuals. Let me tell you about Libra, Linda. Okay. If you're linked to a Libra man, all right, and you're you cross watching and you and you like this reading, listen to me. Libra men love women that are homemakers. They love women that take care of their children, um, take care of their responsibilities, cook, clean, stay at home, and don't control them. That's the type of women they like. Capricorn is not that woman, okay? Capricorn is not that woman. Capricorn will make money and leave their fucking kids everywhere. I'm going to just keep it 100. The main thing that matters to Capricorn individuals is finances, Okay. So if a Libra is broke at the time or having a hard time making money, a Libra will link up with a Capricorn and use the fuck out of them. All right. But doesn't see a future with them. All right. But tell them everything that they want to hear. But as far as long term wise, that's not going to work out. That's what I see in this reading. I'm going to keep it real. I mean, I don't like to hurt nobody's feelings. I really don't. But I have to tell you what it is. I mean, if I shut the fuck up, you ain't going to know what to do. All right, so I got to tell you. Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and the King of Wands. Some of you, okay, listen, who am I talking about? I'm talking about the Libra that got a family situation with a uh, King of Wands, a Leo or a uh, Sagittarius. The Libra that has a child already by a Leo or Sagittarius or have children. That's the one that is using Capricorn and Taurus that I'm talking about. Because their main family, the way that they see this woman is amazement. Okay. They see this woman as this is it. You're the one bitch. This is the one I want to settle down with. She takes care of her family. She doesn't have a lot of money, but whatever she gets, she spends it on her children I like this woman or I like this man. Okay. Be very, very careful. Be very careful, Libra. Those of you that are involved with a Libra that are earth signs. Your fire signs, you cool. This person is thinking about taking this relationship to the next level. Down here, we got the queen of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the nine of wands. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Libra... It could be that the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, keeps throwing their money in Libra's face. You keep trying to make this person be with you because of what you got financially. And they are going to be with you. They're going to take your fucking money and they're going to give it to this fucking fire sign. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They cannot separate from this fire sign. They're crazy about this fire. Whoever this motherfucker is. They are crazy about this fire sign. They don't want to be with these earth signs right now. I'm telling you. But if you keep throwing your money, talking about you got this and you got that, this motherfucking Libra is going to take you for everything you own to build a life with a fire sign. It's not the month for it. I'm telling you, just be careful because it's not the month for it. It is not the month. I swear to you. <clears throat> Libra could also uh, return to a lover, a Virgo lover. And the way that this Libra lover is going to return to this Virgo is by the Virgo offering financial support. And the Libra needs it at this time. So that is what's going to make them return to this lover. I got to look at this nine of wands because there's some life partners that are Virgo and Libra. And I know that Libra is using Capricorn and Taurus at this time. But what, what happens with Virgo? I got to see this, guys. I don't usually pull cards, but I'm going to pull cards. Okay, because I have some very important Virgo people. Um, shout out to my boy, Tim. I love you dearly. He looks out for me. He takes care of Bella. So shots out to him because he does take care of Bella. But he's in a he's in a life partnership. So I don't want him to read this and be like, oh my God, Bella, does that mean she's going to use me for everything? I got to get more information on this nine of wands. Nine of wands, let's see. Nine of wands. Okay, tell me more. Come on, get into it. Get into it. Okay, hold up. Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's go into that wheel. See, there's a, there is a vertex that's coming up for my earth signs. Justice and the Eight of Wands. Okay, there's a vertex that's coming up for my earth signs. Let me tell you this. Libra, if you are connected to uh, Virgo, 
This is only Libra and Virgo. Please don't go putting all these signs on her that I didn't put on there, okay? Libra and Virgo, you have a life partner that keeps coming in and out of your life. Right now, they need financial support. They are in trouble. They're kind of like in a pickle. Libra or Virgo offers financial support to this individual. There's a vertex that's about to hit around this time as well. This is going to bring these individuals into your life, okay? Because originally they wouldn't be into your life right now. But because you're offering the money, you're offering them help and assistance, they're going to come back at this time for financial assistance. The problem comes in that is when you try to change them, okay? Or you try to get them to change their ways. And at this time, I'm going to be honest with you, even though the vertex is hitting Virgo, um, when they come back into your life, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to change and want to be with you for the rest of your life. These people are still immature and they're still going through their karmic uh, cycle. So they're not really done. They're not really grown up. Okay. So they will come into your life. Um, you'll probably have to provide for them and help them. It's going to be sort of like an epiphany where they start to look at you and they start to see you in a different light. Well, like, damn, this motherfucker is always there for me every time I need them. That's amazement. Like they're there. They don't never give up on me. They don't never stop loving me. You know, I like that about them. But then again, they could be out the door again. So, you know, this is not the best reading for Virgo and Libra. I'll just say that um, it does look like this wheel is changing. The vertex is hitting and it will bring Virgo and Libra back together for a very short amount of time. Um most of you life partners already know that this is an on and off relationship that <laughs> tends to never end. Okay. But I don't feel that your life partner is going to use you. Um, Virgo or Libra. I don't feel that they're going to use you. I feel that they will come in because they need your help through a certain situation. However, Libra is connected to um, Leo or Sagittarius. So you just need to be careful. It looks like this is maybe their karmic partner that they're not yet done with. Okay. Okay, what else? Let's go backwards. Here we go. Did I look at this up and down yet? No, I don't think I did. The four of wands to the wands of the pentacles. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So when, when it comes to Libra and the Queen of Pentacles, I definitely feel like I said, this person is going to come back around. Um, but this is going to be a short time live. They could decide, you know, because they're in trouble. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is in trouble right now. Financially, she's in trouble. And um, Libra has the money. Or, you know, um, the Libra is in trouble and the Queen of Pentacles has the money. Okay, this is a situation that's bringing around. So they could actually move in or start a relationship um, very quickly for the month of May. Will they last for the month of May? I don't know that you need a personal reading. You really need a personal reading because everybody's different, okay? Everybody's going to decide different things. Uh, we're moving into the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. And like I said, this is for those Libras that are not spiritually or not, um, you know, uh, emotionally connected to one another. Earth signs, okay? Libra, if you're not emotionally connected to... Um, Whatever sign, it could be an earth sign, it could be a fire sign. You're not emotionally connected to this person, but however, you're connected to what they do for you. You see what I'm saying? That's going to be a problem. That's going to come out for the month of May as well. Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, and a Nine of Wands. Libra, you could be connected with a Sagittarius or a Leo that you're finding out is very selfish. All right, these motherfuckers are very selfish. You do everything for them. But then when it's their time to prove their self to you, you're going to see that this person is very selfish. Okay. Now this is for those Libras that may have been connected with a Sagittarius or Leo for a very long time. Okay. And you've been giving, giving, giving to this King of Wands, this Leo Sagittarius. You've been giving to them for a long time. And now you're in trouble and you need them and they can't provide for you. You may decide that, you know what? I'm the fuck out of here. I'm done with this situation altogether. I don't want to deal with this, this situation. All right. A lot of collaborations for the month of May 2018. Like I said, Leo and Capricorn. I'm Leo. Libra and Capricorn. Libra and Leo. Libra and Sagittarius. Um, Libra and Virgo. A lot of collaborations for the month of um, May 2018. Okay. It's just all over the place. 
You got to get a personal reading, guys, if you want more in-depth. Okay, hit me up at allseeingoutarot at gmail.com. And we can look into your personal situation to see where it's going. Okay, do like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Um, if you want, like I said, if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up at all seeing our tarot at Gmail. Hit me up on my Gmail and put special 50 as your subject line or the full reading if you want the full reading. Okay, I love you much. And until next month, thank you. Lisa.